Hey guys, Tony Demore from Demore Engineering. Uh, this will be the start of some new videos. I haven't done any in a while. I want to do some some videos that are less electrical engineering, more car audio related electronics. Um, most of my audience is car audio or home audio people, and so I want to do basic electrical engineering stuff as it pertains to audio. So this will be um, a little more remedial and a lot more audio focused. Uh, hopefully this series goes well. Guys, please take a second and subscribe to this channel. Please do me a big favor and like this video right now. Welcome to the first video in the series. Um, we're going to talk about amplifier impedance and when you bridge two amplifiers or strap two amplifiers together, why does the amplifier see half of the impedance? Meaning, if you have an amplifier hooked up to a 4 ohm load, a 4 ohm speaker, if you bridge an amplifier into a 4 ohm speaker, it's two different things. And, the, and we say that the amplifier sees half of the impedance. So let's actually see what that means. In car audio, we say if you have an amplifier running a 4 ohm speaker, that it sees a 4 ohm load. But if you have two amplifiers strapped or bridged together into a 4 ohm, that they each see two ohms. And so let's talk about why that is. Okay. First of all, some terminology. This can be called bridged. Sometimes it's called BTL, which stands for bridge tied load. Or it could be called strapped, which is actually kind of a misnomer, I think, from, from pro or in home audio, where you can parallel two amplifiers, which is totally different than this. But nevertheless, it's made its way into car audio. And when we take two big class D's and put them together, we call it strapped. Maybe it sounds cooler, I don't know. It's like, you know, having your nine and being strapped. So, what does that mean? Well, it's basically, you're putting the outputs of the amplifiers in series. So let's pretend that these are amplifiers and here's a four ohm woofer. Like I said, it's gonna be basic. My drawings are even more basic than, than the content. Here's the output, plus and minus. This thing sees four ohms, all right? Simple enough. Now, if instead I have two amplifiers and I'm going to bridge them or strap them, basically what ends up happening is this amplifier, you will feed it a 180 degree out of phase signal. So basically those are flipped. These tie together, and this and this go to your speaker. Four ohms. Now, on your amp, it might be labeled minus and plus or whatever. This one that has this way, but it has a 180 switch, which is effectively doing this. Don't worry about that. Your specific amplifier will tell you how to hook it up and how to do this. But for, for this illustration, I'm doing it like this, and you can really see how they're in series, just the way if you had you know, two AA batteries, nuts to butts. Here's the positive on this end. This minus is hooked to the positive, the next battery, and the minus on the end. So series connection, four ohm load. What's the impedance? All right, well, let's consider, back to the first case. Let's consider this to the speaker that's four ohms. And for the sake of easy math, let's consider that this amp puts out 40 volts RMS. RMS, and this is a four ohm load. So let's do some simple ohms law. Volts divided by ohms equals current. 40 volts divided by four ohms. 40 divided by four, 10. So this has 10 amps of current like this. Okay, now. So it sees a four ohm load. Now let's consider the second case where it's bridged again. Four ohms. This is also doing 40 volts RMS, but it's 180 degrees out of phase. So let's just consider this for simple math to be minus 40 volts RMS. Okay, now we have on this connection and this connection, we have plus 40 volts here minus 40 volts there. That's a difference of 80 volts. 
ohms log in, 80 volts divided by four ohms is 20 amps. So when the signal is coming up like this, at this point here, this amplifier is having to put out 20 amps. And we get down here and we're like this, we're at the bottom here, this one's having to push 20 amps this way. This is going back this way now. So you see, each amplifier we say sees two ohms. There's nothing two ohms about this. There's nothing two ohms anywhere. But just because it's not going to ground, it's going to minus 40, that causes an 80 volt difference, twice as much current flows. So this amplifier is having to put out as much current as it would have to if it was connected to a two ohm load. So I hope that kind of simplifies that. This is how I want to keep these videos short like this. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below and uh, maybe leave some suggestions for some other topics and let's see where this goes. All right, thanks. Guys, please take a second and subscribe to this channel. Please do me a big favor and like this video right now.